activity at the U.S. Naval facility in Cuba. According to our man in the CIA, they lost all contact with the base shortly after a Soviet commuter jet crashed into the coast nearby. But the strange thing is that when comms were restored 24 hours later, the only message received was, conditions normal, and that was it. The plane's at the bottom of the ocean now, but before it sank, someone, something, escaped the wreckage and made it to shore. The Pentagon's assessment jives with the intel from our on-site informant. Signs indicate that the base has been taken over by some unknown entity. Intelligent beings that attack people and steal their identities. That's right, boss. Body snatchers. occupying the site. Now I know what you're thinking. Legendary hero or not, these things aren't exactly your jurisdiction. But we've got a secret weapon. A man from another world. A dark, distant future. A man made into a war machine with no human body for those bastards to snatch. As payment, all we need to do is hand over the XOF badges you've gathered on your missions. occupying the Cuban naval base and prison camp. There's no telling what will happen to the world if you lose. The fate of the human race is in your hands, Ryden. are posing as Marines. To pick them out, you'll first need to mark a target. That'll let you feel them out. With your hardware, you'll be able to see right through their disguise. I've sent the target's predicted field of movement to your iDroid. Wipe out the Snatchers posing as Marines and neutralize all survivors. Destroying them won't add to your kill count. Eliminate the Snatchers.